Pokemon trainer. This will be a good matchup. You can do Three, two, one, hey, go. I like that tag, Kuro. All right, so Snake versus Squirtle. Squirtle, yeah, you're getting just... shout outs everywhere, man. <laughs> I know, it's nice. Thank you, guys. I love y'all, too. It's a good back air. Let's see what this edge guard does. That side B is really safe. Yeah, and Pokemon Trainer is hit so quickly. And the fact that there's like no. Oh, oh yeah. SD. It's a little bit of fortunate events right there, but he, he's done so much damage already. He's probably going to get a kill pretty quickly. Wow, was a, that was a, a good conversion. Forward tilt as strong as ever. Good neutral option. Nice shielding that back air. Yeah, Never rest in peace, Rock Smash. I know, right? That move is awesome. Nice grab. Let's we'll see what the follow up is. Nice dare. That was a good land jab. Kind of stood in shield for too long. Barely clipped that up smash. Oh, oh sending him down for depths. That was a little risky. I I understand why he went for it, but you can also set up. That is a problem with Snake's recovery. Is like it's very exploitable. Oh, you're very vulnerable. That was a good water gun, keeping him in the air longer. Yeah, he's really. Oh, he got hit by the cipher. But uh, yeah, I mean, Kuro, not Kuro. Uh, Tenny is moving really fast here with this uh, Squirtle. I see that. that character, man. Yeah, I see like he's like using that as his main character. Good choice, honestly. We used to say in Brawl, if he was a character by himself, he would be very good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Pokemon Trainer is really cool because like you can actually like substitute to like avoid getting hit and use it like kind of like an air dodge without like any kind of punishment at all. Yeah, it's like a second air dodge. Oh, nice confirm out of that. All right, Charizard's looking pretty strong. Ooh, oh, fire in the wrong way. Reverse. The new Nikita, though, is very good. How fast it is. Nice flare blitz. Oh, oh, waited for him to go to that C4. Kuro Knocking knew. at your door. Kuro knew, man. Oh, nice neutral air. Oh, Setting nice him off the up. stage. Jab combo. Good recovery on stage. Let's see some grenade setups. Nice, avoiding it and just getting in and back airing. Hockey's definitely enjoying watching this because he also plays Snake. Wow! Wow, that, what that just up happened? Up air man? is explosive. The up man. air, man. Yes. The up air. So, I know Ivy Store really uh, focuses on uh, juggling people and kind of trying to snipe with the up air. It's nice that you can only air dodge once because once you do, you're just air, up air food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ivy Store is like. I don't know, like, I don't know if who kills easier, Ivysaur or Charizard. Man, that's hard. Because Charizard uh, has that side beat that's, like, insta-kill if you're at a certain percent, but... Yes. Um, Ivysaur has a really strong, like, forward smash, too. Ivysaur hits really hard. For, yeah. for what kind of character it is, um, it's a very zony character, but, man, you hit with an up smash, a forward smash, up air, down air, it just... It hurts, man. It Absolutely. Hurts. Charizard actually has a very nice kill move with uh, forward air. Uh-huh. Uh, it's very fast. And it, it's kind of like Mewtwo's. You can kind of just throw it out there in neutral and it will kill. Pokemon I love trainer. moves that you use in neutral that can also kill. That's just like, yeah. you're like spacing. Like, oh, I killed you. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works in this game. I mean, like, you kind of like do the same moves to like build up damage, but like sometimes those moves will kill. Yeah. I love that. All right, we're running it back. What stage are we going to? Three, Kalos. Two, Kalos yes. is very good. It's a big stage. It's good for a character like Snake who excels living for that. It excels at living forever. I really like this stage. It forces you to fight in the middle. Like you can't camp on the sides. You gotta like for you gotta fight in the middle to like actually win in this stage. Yeah, I like that too. I like the platform placement. See, like, <laughs> that nice. That's like three or four down tilts right there. Oh yeah, that was combo quick. Oh, C4 himself. Yeah, sometimes that's that's gonna happen. You gotta throw a C4 on yourself. That's the thing. It's a double-edged sword. You're gonna. It's kind of like playing Pichu sometimes when you play Snake. Like he just ran to another <laughs> another grenade right there. The cool thing about Snake though is that you need to uh, you're very ooh that up tilt was clean. Uh, you need his strategy is more going for trades against his opponents. Yeah. Uh, and and he will outlive and up tilt you. Up tilt still strong. Nice air dodge down to the ground. There's a quick recovery. He's crawling away. C4 is right underneath. He's gonna probably detonate it now to recover. Uh, missed that spike. Yeah, I can't even see the C4. I'm used to C4. I used to play Snake. <laughs> <laughs> I keep track of it. I feel like in this game, the C4 is so small you can't see it. Yeah. Oh, nice back there. That was a good call out. 
Back to Squirrel Snake. Back to stop one. Nice catch with the jab. Let's we'll see what kind of setup he has. He just opted to oh. get out side me. Ooh. Just dropping grenades everywhere, man. I like uh I like how Tenny moves with that side B to get in. Yeah, he's doing a really good job finding ways to get through all of these projectiles that are getting thrown at him. Yeah, it's an optical force. <laughs> all right, big movement with that Charizard. Got hit by that dash attack though. Back oh. air barely oh, he barely missed with that dash attack. I thought he was gonna go for a spike after that nair. That's a very strong option to use when you're snake. Uh, air dodging towards the um, towards the ledge, that's actually very good. You avoid a lot of um, spikes and terrible things like that. Nice oh. C4. Kuro's really getting those C4 kills. Yeah, he's really finding ways to use the C4 and take out stocks. He, keep, he keeps it out for a long time, and then as soon as Tenny just forgets about it, it's, he's setting it off. So yeah, it's, it's in the back that. of his mind like the whole time. Like, just keep fighting me, okay? Keep walking here. So, Kuro's got a pretty nice lead. Uh, Snake shouldn't be dying anytime soon to Squirtle. So I would say focus on getting those grenade trades now. That was good. That <laughs> he picked it up and tried to throw it in. Yeah, up, till up, up air is very strong. So, this grenade does stop the side B. Wow, he's just racking up damage. That, that side B that Snake has is a really good edge guarding tool. Yes. That was a good up air, catching that jump. See what he's gonna do on this last stock. Air dodge down. Let's see if Tenny can clutch this out. All right, Tenny, remember that down B. <laughs> it keeps <laughs> getting you. <laughs> I think uh, Crow's gonna try and box him into one side of the stage. Yeah, he's throwing a lot of projectiles out and trying to mix it up as much as possible. I like that he started using side. Oh, nice up B. Got him in the air. Oh, try to get it for the for the up air. That might have not killed though, but. Oh, the up tilt. The up tilt was, kills. The four tilt kills. Good. Uh, that was a great punish out of shield. Uh, the turnaround up tilt. That range, though, man. <laughs> All right, so this set is even, so they're going to have to figure out where they're going to go for game three. Yeah, I, I imagine... Um, I, I would avoid platforms, to be honest. I think... For, for which player? Uh, for uh, Pokemon Trainer, for mm. Tenny. Uh, because there's a lot of opportunities to kind of set up underneath a platform for Snake. Very strong underneath it. It's, the platform kind of protects him from aerial approaches, which Squirtle utilizes a lot. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of put Trainer. C4s on them, too. So I wonder if you're good at FD, but honestly, I'm no expert. I'm not a PT player, so I don't know what he wants. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think he, I think, I think uh, Tanya would opt for like uh, kills off the top. So I was gonna say Smashville or like Town and City, but we're going to Pokemon Stadium too for this match. Home field advantage. I noticed he's starting with Ivysaur. I uh, Razor Leaf was. Um, oh, he just missed that. Uh, can you Razor actually Leaf choose your character before? Yeah, you can. So you can kind of cycle through them in the character select screen. Nice up air catching that jump. Okay. Yeah, he's been using side B to kind of hit him when he pulls out grenades. I think that's a very good option because it makes him drop the grenade at his feet and possibly blow him up. Wow, good follow up there. Yeah, he's racked up 91% of it already. Oh, nice. Down throw oh, up air. another up air. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a third one. That up he barely missed. So you need the, that razor leaf is giving him a lot of good follow-ups. Yeah, and he hasn't switched uh, away from him, so it looks like he's gonna stick it out with Ivy Surfer right now. Yeah, I think he likes how how razor leaf interacts with Snake's projectiles because it kind of just cuts through the grenades and stuff, oh. keeping him in the air with the nair. Good up air, air, nair to up air to up air to another up air. Jesus, 63 percent already. Yeah, Snake is combo food sometimes. I think he switched to Charizard for the survivability. He's gonna go for more extra credit. Oh, yeah. Nice neutral air. See what this edge guard is. Oh, good grab Down there. throw. Nice. Nice. Was that an up tilt? Yeah, that was an up tilt. That came out so quick. I think he buffered it. Um, he kind of just laid, Tenny kind of laid down. Oh, nice. So now he's got Squirtle out there. and I think Squirt. I think the reason why he didn't start Squirtle 
was um, he kind of gets he kind of has been trading a lot. Oh, he killed himself with that C4. The C4 hit so below him. Like that reached pretty far. Why did that kill him? I don't know. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> just like that, Tenny has a lead here. It's two stocks to one. I, I don't know what just happened, honestly. That was so could you edge guard with it like that then? Yeah, you can. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty cool how that works out. How, its reach is ridiculous. So this situation is interesting. Kuro can no longer kind of go for trades against these characters, and he, he's more forced to approach those razor leaps. Yeah, and Tenny knows that. Looks like he just continuously throwing these forward airs at him, but he switches to Charizard. That was a good switch. His forward air is a strong uh, option to cover Trump. Wow. And it has a more wider range, but that up air was going to take the stock and the game for Tenny. So, I think a, a lot of things happened in this set. Um, Kuro kind of got called out for jumps 